We've got two races left today, and this is one. The Unlimited Lights Championship. It's time to race for the trophy today, and here are your headlines. Ryan Mallow has the top team here today, but how about Greg Hopp? He's always one of the toughest to battle out on the water. And how about Kaylee? She didn't just luck her way into this. Does she have the boat speed to win it? It's the Unlimited Lights Championship at Sea Fair. The Unlimited Lights Championship race is presented for Sea Fair by Graham Trucking, the intermodal container solution. Here is your lineup of boats in the championship. Interstate batteries, Graham Trucking, King and Bunnies, Warning Power, U.S. Army, Napa. Also, Miss Critical Logic, the Vitamin Water, and Power Punch boats on the outside. Taking a look at the course, the temperatures have gone up all day long. Comcast course conditions, 90 degrees, 245 from race time. Water is calm, but not for long. KJR, welcome to all of you, and CairoTV.com as well. Here are the drivers and their boats, starting with Ryan Mallow in the Interstate Battery Boat. Chip, you may be the one to beat today. It's fast, it handles good. If you got some money to bet, it'd be a good place to put it. Greg Hopp in the Graham Trucking Boat is a battler. He drives the big ones, he drives the unlimited lights. Mike, how's he going to do here? He first has to worry about Ryan Mallow. Once he has him handled, he's got to worry about Kaylee Perkins. And he has to also worry about Paul Becker. He's got to handle it. Kelly Stockland is driving the King and Bunnies boat, and he's just been sort of laying there in the weeds getting a second and third. Told me he doesn't like the way his boat's handling. I don't think he's going to be a factor. How about the WarningPower.com? One of the great names in racing. Will Muncy even looks like his dad. He's got a second and a fourth already, Mike. Well, he's got the final heat, but he hasn't got the boat to win it here today, I'm afraid. The U.S. Army boat, Joe Souza, as he continues to fight, can he get better than a third here today, Chip? I don't think so. It's great to have the Army here, but I don't think he's got the boat to get it done this week. Paul Becker is the defending champion. He hasn't had all the greatest luck, but he's got a first and a second along with it did not finish, Michael. He also knows how to win on Lake Washington, even against the kind of the competition he's up against this afternoon, so don't count him out. Kaylee Perkins, as talented as a driver there is, and she has got a first to her name in the, uh, of course, the wild card. She needs a great start, and she needs a great first corner. She hasn't had one yet today, so let's see. And finally, the power punch boat, piloted by Rod Bork. Michael? Figures into the start, probably not into the finish. Rod Bork, I think, is outclassed here. And so there we are. The Unlimited Lights are set for a championship. And the man to make that call as the po uh, boats approach the north turn is the inimitable one, Mike Fitzsimmons. Thank you very much, Steve. You seldom ever see this much traffic in a north turn on Lake Washington at seafair time. Usually we run six front uh, line boats in the Unlimiteds. We've got eight of them going here. They're already in their lanes now, having established where they're going to be as they came around uh, at the uh, about a minute or so ago. And Kaylee has decided she wants that inside lane in, in the worst way, and so she's going to creep up to it and try to ratchet up the power that may or may not have been a good idea for her uh, uh, and no one looks strike that. That's Muncie. He's gone back into the inside of the course and taken himself out. King and Bunnies is also gone. Kaylee is going to be in the third lane right next to the supercharged boats. Lead him across the line. And Joe Souza, they come to the line. And we've got our start. They're lowered down into that first corner. Joe Souza has the inside lane, but his boat has not shown the kind of horsepower it's going to take to overcome these uh, faster boats. Boy, we got a lot of traffic down there, Chip, and they're closing it up. Mike, you had a better angle at the start line. It looked to me like there might have been one boat that either had a perfect start or was over, and it was red. Was that Kaylee? Uh, that would have been Kaylee if it was, in fact, the case. Uh, but actually, Bill, or Bill, Bill Munchie turned into the course just before the start, and it shut the boat off. You might have seen him. Kaylee, on the other hand, is flying that race boat, trying to stay up with Ryan Mallow, the Interstate Batteries. We have a fair start. We have no problems on the start. So we have one dandy battle. Forget the fact that these three lappers, uh, what we've had in the past, these guys have got to go five times around.
down and including Kaylee. What a great turn for Kaylee as she comes off that corner and gets some ground on Ryan Mallow, who has to stay outside until he crosses the start finish line. Has overlapped and he can close in on her now. And third place overall, that would be the Graham trucking as uh, Greg Hopp tries to catch up, but he doesn't look like he's got what it's going to take to beat these other two. Kaylee's got a race on her hands through that lower corner, Jim. Going into this heat, I said Kaylee had to do two things. She had to have a perfect start. She did that. She needed a perfect first corner. She did that. She's done all she can do now. It's all up to the horsepower behind her. And she's stretching it out, Pat O'Day. She's definitely stretching it out. And it looks like Ryan Mallow is having a tough time catching her. Unbelievable run for Kaylee. As Jim said, it has been perfection. It's been poetry. And she's at the floating bridge turn. That skid fin throws that water in the air. She's got Mallow on the outside, but she's got him by an entire rooster tail and more. He starts here in footsteps now, though a five lapper means that engine's got to hold together. She lost one earlier. And the lap number two, Kaylee leads by a rooster tail in the quarter. Down the front straightaway as she comes charging through. She's got a loose cowling there. You can see things rattling. That could blow off at any moment now. Now, if that cowling comes off, that creates some problems because there's an air scoop you can see on top of that cowling right there. And that air scoop helps get air to that motor. If that cowling comes off, that's going to be a little bit of a decrease of horsepower. And she's got a great big blown motor behind her. But I tell you what, she has driven a perfect race up to now. If she wins this, it's it's all driver. So far, she's hanging together here. Out of the corner, the cowling still staying on. But as you can see, it's trying to lift off on the back end. And Kaylee's getting the uh, white flag as she comes down to uh, the start and finish line third time around for Kaylee. I'd have to say that that's one young lady that I'm really glad well, I they, never had to raise. They just gave her the checker, so evidently they're only running three in the final. That surprises me. But Kaylee is the winner. If that's the case, she's backed off, so she thinks she is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the boat with the lesser of the horsepower beat the supercharged boat and beat it handily. Not just beat it, wax it. In the hands of Kaylee Perkins. You know, wow. A lot of people have been asking, as Pat brought up, is she ready for the Unlimited? And I wonder if that was a male driving that boat that's won, you know, so much over so many years, if we'd even ask that question, we'd say, absolutely, they're ready. So I'm going to say that now. I think Kaylee is absolutely too ready to get into an Unlimited. Maybe not to win right off the bat, but she's ready, she's earned a chance to go out there and do some laps. Well, this, of course, is a win in Seattle. This is a big win for Kaylee. And this is five in a row for Kaylee. Last Nobody year, won any last races year, but she, her this year. You know, before they start the race, they make that long run around the unlimited buoys. Last year, she made that mistake of going all the way around in the first lap, or she'd have won last year. But now her dream has come true. But listen, this is her fifth win in a row. That's right. And let's also remember that the Perkins family is a seafare family if there ever was one. This family has been a volunteer at this event from the beginning. Kaylee used to come down here in a little stroller, and now she just won the Chevrolet Cup Lights event, and I think we're going to see one happy, emotional dock here. That speedboat is no stroller, and she wasn't strolling at all. Boy, did she have to go fast to beat Ryan Mallow, and Mallow's had a great weekend. Take nothing from him. Two, uh, two wins and a second place in the in the final. That interstate battery boat has been absolutely wonderful this weekend. And But he was outclassed, no question about it. Got a good start, had the horsepower, just didn't come together for him. Look Seattle's got its own Danica Patrick. Oh, look at that. You can see the smile from inside the waterlogged windshield, and she is one happy pilot of the championship of the unlimited lights here at Seafair. The thumbs up for her crew. She can't wait to get out of that helmet. Yeah, it's just great to see her. And, you know, you mentioned Danica Patrick. I think there's a difference between Danica Patrick and her. You know, Danica Patrick hasn't won much. She's threatened to win, but she hasn't won much. And I don't think she's as good for her sport as Kaylee is for her. Kaylee's just got the right personality to really help this sport. Well, that's that's well said, Chip. That's true. I mean... I think I see some tears of joy there as well. Yeah, you know, last year she ran down, I predicted it, that she was going to run down and throw Becker in the water, which she did. Yeah. Now we have to ask ourselves, is Paul Decker going to make the run and throw her in the water? They're both 
they're both such gracious racers, and I think we could all learn some lessons in whatever we do competitively from, from people like Kaylee. And you know, look at her, she, she's in disbelief. And she loves her guys so much, and they think the world of her. And that's what makes them winners. It's that relationship. Look, look at that. That's her brother. That's Brian Perkins. And you would think he'd be jealous. You know, he hasn't had as good equipment as Kaylee has, but there's no better supporter than for Kaylee than her brother Brian. Chip, we have just looked at, at the highlight of Seafair 2009. And let's head right down to the pits and guard with the champion. Kaylee, put it into words for me. What an emotional afternoon for you. I can't. I can't believe I just want Seafair. I grew up watching this, watching people like Steve David, you know, running around the race course, and I'm here pitted next to him, and this has just been the best weekend of my life. You, you won it on the, uh, in, in the first turn and on the start, didn't you? I think so. I don't know. I, just, I was so worried about Ryan. He was right next to me, and yeah, they were saying it's such a good boat, and I was really worried about him, but... My foster care boat, my vitamin water team really stepped up and put in the best stuff they could and gave me an opportunity of a lifetime. And just winning here in Seattle is so big for you right now. This is huge. Talk about your cowling. That thing almost fell off during the race. Didn't even notice it. Didn't look back. I want to thank Grand Trucking for giving us the opportunity to do this because without this, I wouldn't be able to get to do what I love to do. When did you think you knew you had the race won? Not until I saw the checkered flag. You never look back and you never let off until you see the checkered. So. And so many tears for you. I can't believe it. Big win and a wonderful moment for you and your team. I'm so proud of my team. They are so amazing and because of them, I'm here and I can't thank them enough. And you are five for five, my friend. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. What do you think your mom and dad are thinking right now? <laughs> Probably that they never thought I'd get here either, because I know I didn't. <laughs> All right, great job. Thank you so much. Donna, it's not a bad week when you win the race you wanted to win your whole life. You get engaged in the same week. So, Kaylee, enjoy this. Uh, you'll look back on it forever. That was the ring she had on, right? The engagement That was the engagement ring. That happened last week in the Tri-City. She comes here and realizes a childhood dream. You got to be moved. Oh. You just have to be moved. Oh, it's terrific. It just is great for.